Brian McCormick. James Nelson. Paul Mina Honda. How are you? Nothing bad. You're You're looking at a few of these new Hondas. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll just start with a new fire blade then. Close to my heart, yeah. <laughs> 2012 model for this year. Two options on this, you have the ABS option and the non-ABS option. This one here is the non-ABS. New bodywork, new dash, new LCD dash. Gear indicator is standard on it as well. Same chassis, same engine. The slipper clutch is standard. Gearbox is the same as last year's model. Updated it. The production models now come with new Bridgestone tires on the S102s. And the ABS model will come with the Dunlop Sport Max 2s as well. Should make a vast improvement over the handle. New Showa big piston forks as well, just on the top there, more adjustment before, and also free balance shock on the rear too as well. So, completely okay. different setup. Okay to sit on, have a Absolutely, go. tear away Brian. What's the difference in engine wise? Engine wise setup is the same, they've improved the throttle response slow down, so on the pickup it should be a bit smoother than before. It's a wee bit rash in last year's models, I'm sure you know, but all smoothed out now, so yeah, it's impressive. It look good, look good. Absolutely. Look forward to getting that one. <laughs> from here, where would you, from here to the Well, we'll, stick, we'll stick with the CBR and then go to the RR model. No changes from Honda this year, just new bodywork. New colour scheme, red and white, there's also black available. And again, it comes in two options with the ABS and the non-ABS. This model is sporting carbon fibre bodywork, front mudguard, rear hugger as well. Single seat coiling on it too, and carbon dash. They're good fun to the sport bike to have, you protect the uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Right there. Nice, yeah, nice without a bike. doubt. Just feed them in power, as you know, and just give it absolute guts. They, so. don't, they don't scare you as much as the big 1000 cc. Yeah, the power's a wee bit more uh, pegged back on the 600, all top end, just keep it above 10,000 revs and away you go. And so, for, for the fellas out starting off, where would you go? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, CBR 600 F's a great bike to start. Again, this model, new for last year. Basically what happened, everyone knows about the CBR 600F, fuel injection one in 2001. They then stripped the back, made a Hornet unfaired basically, and then what they've done is now improved the Hornet in 07 and brought the CBR 600F back with all the bodywork on it. This model here is sporting the new double bubble screen, carbon fiber, tank cover, tank pad, single seat carlin, hugger, and if you come round to the other side, Acropovic exhaust on it as well. Titanium with a carbon tip. It'd be a fun one of the bike even for road and even for track days where people step up. It's good, yeah, it's good to have. Again, combined ABS on this model, so plenty of stop and power on it. It's based basically on a slightly older RR yeah, engine. What is that? Yep, great starter bike. Restricted kit restricts really well the 33 brake horsepower. And again, you can do track days on it if you want. So, fantastic new model. Very good, very good. Yeah. Where, yeah, well, from there again. One of the key bikes for Honda this year, the CBR 250R. Again, brand new from last year, comes in two models, ABS and non-ABS. This one's tricked out with a full carbon fiber pack. So, great starter bike again for those who just passed the test. Single cylinder, but still it can do 80 mile an hour and you get 80 miles per gallon fuel consumption on it. Start off yeah, absolutely. Maybe, maybe not quite a not I quite think I'm too out, big. But yeah, too big. it's a nice step on. And then we move to the 125. Again, we single cylinder. It's got the carbon fiber pack and also comes in a Repsol paint scheme for this year. And this one is the HRC colors with again carbon fiber all throughout. Very so, good. Yeah, 100%. And I see that nice bike in the middle there. Who's is that? It's Johnny Ray's. Is Johnny Ray's Castro World Superbike one from 2009. So, look yeah, that's good. That's how over, bro. This is more like one of Yes, this would be more your uh, kettle of fish. Yeah, definitely. Not a far cry from what you see in the showroom. Yeah. Um, chassis very, very similar. Swinging arm is completely different, but due to the rules and regulations, a lot of the components in the production bike you'll see on Johnny Ray's actual Castrol superbike. Start, yeah, yeah, absolutely. This 10 Cata, so electronics package specifically designed by them. Yeah. You've got the Olin's front forks, Olin's rear shock, very similar to what you can buy on the shelf, only obviously well superbike spec. 
carbon fiber bodywork, and then just the rest of the running gear would be different to your well, your standard spec bike. How much would these be now for the build? I know how much my one is, but if the build, I I would take a punt that in around 120k, 120,000 pounds. 210 brake horsepower. Absolutely, yeah, and then just change the gearing on it, and you're good to go. Very good.